everyone welcome back to creating the crafted life this is Melanie and today we are talking breads and sequins so as you can see here in front of you I have one of my foam core or foam board trays of brads I'm going to talk a little bit more about this in a minute but I want to take you over to the drawer where I store my brads and sequins and show you what it looks like right now Okay, so this is one of my um, Alex drawer units. They're the wide ones, and I keep a lot of different items in here, but we're going to focus on brads and sequins today. And actually, before we get started that, I wanted to show you this drawer here. So this drawer was the drawer that I stored in my wood veneer that I went through last in the last organization video. And all that's left in here now are buttons. And you can see I have the empty container plus this empty container. So I need to figure out what I'm gonna do there. I haven't decided yet, but I never showed you this last time. So I thought I'd show you that before we move on to the brads and sequins. Right below that is where I keep my brads and sequins. So this is the sheet that I showed you earlier. And then I have, I guess, three different methods of storing brads and sequins. This is not one of them. <laughs> this is me not being, um, what's the right word? Diligent, diligent about putting them away properly. So we'll talk about that in a minute. So I'm gonna pull these out and we'll talk about them over at the desk and then we'll talk about what my next steps are going to be. Okay, so when I first started out with purchasing sequins, I was using these particular containers. I don't remember what they're neat, who they're by. They're pop and lock is what the name of them are. Um, and basically, you can pop out the entire row and then they have a little button on the side where you push and that will unlock these. So these are really secure, which I like for sequins. I'm missing a tray here. I think it might be with one of my projects. I might have it pulled, <laughs> at least I'm hoping. But anyways, these are full. Now my understanding is you can't purchase these anymore. Um, they are no longer um, available or if they are, they're available in a different configuration. But this is the majority of my sequins that I had at the time. I had a few empty spaces. Those have subsequently been filled. But I have more sequins that I need to find a home for. What I really like about them is it's really easy to pour things out. So for instance, if I just want some of these, I can pop that open. Number one, the lid's big enough that I can pick out if I want, or I can just dump it out and dump them back in. So I really do like that solution, but not really available anymore, at least to my knowledge. The next solution I have are these trays. It says they are, it's a bead storage solution from beadstoragesolutions.com on Elizabeth Ward and Company. That's what I, that's what these are. I have three of these trays and I bought the ones with the mixed or the assorted size of little containers. I love these. I love that I can easily see what's in them. I love the different sizes. Um, they're pretty much perfect in my opinion. They do come with a lid, but to me that's just one extra step. So all I do is I take the lid and I stick it underneath and I just stick the tray on top and that's how it lives in my drawer. And I have double stacked one side and then on this side here I add these like so and then I've got my brad tray on top. Now you can see that I do have some that are empty. I do have some sequins in here already. So what I am probably going to do is just transfer these sequins into the empty containers and uh, call it done. I think that's what we're going to do. I also have a bunch of these Tonic Studio um, jars and right now they fit along the edge of my containers and they're full. So to me there's no point transferring these. If these were half full or quarter full um, it would make more sense to put them into something a little bit smaller but for now these are going to remain as is. And the last way I store things are in these cute little jars and I absolutely adore these little jars but look at how much space they take up. So I would like to um, transfer the brads that I have in here 
into these containers, which likely means that I am going to run out of room. But that's what I'm going to try and do, and then we will see where we end up. And then the last thing I have to deal with are these package of brads, and I'm going to do the same thing with those that I did with these. I'm going to get another piece of foam board, and basically all I do is, here's an empty spot so you can see, is I punch a hole through it, stick the brad in, and flip it open on the other side, and then um, whenever I use it, I just pull it out. Now why do I do this? If these were all in a single container, I would never see what I have. By having them out, I can visually see if there is something that I will be able to make work for the project that I'm that I am working on. I don't have a ton of these types of brads, and I call these more decorative brads. I do have more generic, and I will show you those. They're in they're in one of these B trays. Let me grab it. So in this tray, I have um, I have brads. I have eyelets. I have more brads, 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 but these are generic, right? So I know that this entire container is full of silver diamond brads. So I don't necessarily need to have them all spread out like these more decorative ones. So that's why I do those differently. It's just the way my brain works and how I like to search and find for things. First thing I'm going to do is transfer all these jars over by removing these jars from that drawer that will leave me more room for when I get these. I typically get these in the Tonic Studio craft kit. I don't normally buy sequins that often anymore just because I have so many and they seem to take forever to go through. So that will just free up more space for this. Anyways, enough rambling. Let me get transferring everything over and then I'll show you where I end up and if it doesn't all work out what my next plans are going to be. Okay, I emptied most of the jars, but I will have three. I moved these teardrop kind of plastic um, drops, I guess if you want to call them, into these jars just because they took up so much space in um, the trays. And then I have my individual jars, which are pretty much all full, so I am not going to be repackaging these. These have not changed. I still haven't located that box, but I will eventually. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it's with the project. So these are just going to go in the front section of the drawer, and these are just going to go on top like I had before. I have two items that I moved to this particular box. This is actually an empty container that doesn't fit in there with the way I have them currently configured. These may or may not live here, but for now, that will do. So I'm going to put those back in the button drawer and then the last thing to show you are my decorative brads okay so this is the last piece of the puzzle I put all the decorative brads on this board so now I have two boards I cut this about the same size so that they'll just stack nicely in that drawer so let me go and show you what the end results of the drawer are okay so this is what it looks like so much better than what it was before I um, really didn't change much in here I still have the two trays stacked I have the one underneath these bins and then I've just got the stuff along the edge. And basically it's just re-sorting how I was put how I was storing things, so getting rid of those big jars and um, dealing with all the loose items. Because I really didn't get rid of anything and I only moved a couple of things elsewhere. So now these decorative um, brads, they just fit on top. Now, I did have to pull the trays out, the tray lids, I mean. Um, I'll have to store them somewhere else. It just was too high to fit this one on top of on top of there. So, well, that is my Brad's eyelets, sequins, confetti storage. <laughs> Not much has changed, just tweaked it a little bit. I hope this encourages you to maybe tackle a drawer in your craft room and just get it sorted and organized a little bit at a time, right? That's what I keep telling myself. Thanks, everyone. And until next time, happy crafting and happy organizing.